Hey everybody, 12 Gate Sage here. How the heck are you today? <clears throat> Excuse me. Got a little frog in my throat here. Uh, we have a load of goodies that we're going to bring to this other place. Should be just two jumps away. Uh, pretty good payout. And um, we've already got our course charted. We're going to take off here and fly like the vacuum of space allows. down for what okay <clears throat> here we go yeah, this is this is not really the game I had planned for this evening uh, I was gonna play a little battlegrounds it seems like they have uh, some issues currently with uh, the steam server I don't know maybe fixed by now <clears throat> but we will see later on maybe but um, how are y'all today I had a doctor's appointment today, and it uh, turned out I'm broken. Yeah, I know. How about that, huh? But uh, we all have problems. But uh, medicines were applied. Radiation was introduced. And uh, enclosed spaces. So, but enough about me. I'm fine. All good. Kind of, but it's not important right now. What is important is that we play games and we escape into this video game world. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping that somebody says, Hey, I wish to remove your cargo from your hold by force if necessary. If not, I'd kind of be a little disappointed to be honest with you. They're gonna pay 200 grand for this cargo. Somebody's bound to come looking for it. Oh, and they were a little sketchy on where to bring it to. So, uh, <clears throat> just a j just a word here. Uh, I may be going to the wrong location. I think this is right, but for some reason, the system right next to it was highlighted as well. I really got to learn to start reading these missions. It's just like uh, I follow the like connect the dots system. Are those two dots close enough? Yeah, I can make that. Okay, good. That's pretty much my system of navigation. Let's see this. Hopefully, ah, oh, I see. Look, it's lit up. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Here we go. We're all fun and games until somebody gets an eye put out. Oh Lord, look how far away that is. Ah oh, man, this this somebody's gonna come for me. Let's see how much speed I can get going on here. <clears throat> really close to upgrading a new ship. It won't be any faster, really, but I'll be able to go farther, and I like that. I would love to someday just go on a just a huge jump just just try to get to the center of the universe I don't know what's there um, now question if any of y'all have uh, played this and have played a lot more than I have are the systems more populated the closer you get to the center of the universe or are they less populated and just more populated out on the fringes it's interesting I, I've been wondering about that <clears throat> it's part of the reason why I wanted to go. Just because, I mean, I, I just don't know. And I know that, of course, i got to get my fuel scoop back. But um, I know that uh, the other ship that I want holds, I think, 32 or 36 fuel, tons of fuel. And that's going to be really critical. I honestly have not looked into the weapons on it, but... Realistically, um, you know, other than defending myself, I'm not, you know, occasionally I've tried a couple things, but I'm not that combat type person. Now, that being said, in the days of ye old, I used to love to play uh, Chuck Yeager's Air Combat when that came out. Of course, on PC, because there wasn't a lot of console games back then. But, um, 
that was an outstanding game, especially for the time. You gotta throw that in, because right now, if you play it, you'd be like, <laughs> yeah, what's on TV? Anyways, but then Chuck Yeager's Air Combat was amazing, because you could build your own missions. You could say, there I was in my, and fill it out with a huge list of different planes you could be in. I mean, they had everything from a Sopworth Camel to, you know, MiG-21s. I mean, it was it was pretty crazy. You could do it the other way. It's like, there I was in my, you know, MiG-21 when I was jumped by five biplanes. <laughs> Those guys were excellent pilots. It's a lopsided combat. But, you know, for what it was, tons of fun. So, that being said, yeah, I love this game, but I'm not a fighter pilot, not not in any <clears throat> stretch of the imagination, excuse me, I don't know why all of a sudden I got frogs in my throat. Man, they're making you work for this paycheck, huh? So how have you been today? Did that co-worker tick you off again? Yeah? Ah. Just remember. No matter where you go, there's always going to be somebody. Every job, every place you go, there's always going to be somebody there it's kind of like um what is that there there's a there's a i forget who what it was but they said if you had a room of a hundred people <clears throat> all talking together out of that hundred people it's very unlikely that they will choose a leader but they'll all choose somebody to hate see it's food for thought it's kind of our nature to to you know to do that but you gotta you gotta break that you gotta break that because acknowledgement that you are that way can actually free you from that I feel because if you realize okay yeah I'm, I'm being I'm being real critical of that you know, it's <clears throat> it's our nature sometimes to distrust and to not like things that other people do. So, knowledge is power. Take that with a grain of salt. I'm just babbling on. I like it when people just get along. There is, you know, we are all people. What is it, Shakespeare? If you prick me, do I not bleed? That's all of us. But life's too short. This world's too small. Don't need the hate. But I do need a faster ship. Oop, 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 oop. Maybe, maybe not that fast. Come on. I am kind of amazed that nobody's tried to stop me. I'm happy. Oh, gee, I am going to overshoot this or I'm going to smack into the planet one of the two. So it's on the other side. Not good. Not good. See, they tricked me tricked me <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry I'm really sorry for doing that in y'all's ear tricky 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 they put it around the other side how dare they right
Woo. Now, I really enjoy sci-fi. Of course, I mean, it's obvious with these games. But what I also enjoy is the old sci-fi. Now, although I am, I am a bit on in years here, definitely not the younger generation for sure. However, what I think, oh, oh lord, let's see here. However, what I think is, other than coming up on the space station way too fast, is, um, Let's see, where are we at here? Which one is this? No, oh, that's most likely him. So, let's go up. But what I was saying is, I really enjoy sci-fi, but if you would like a treat, you should try the old sci-fi. I'm talking uh, Radio Day sci-fi. Most people have a, I mean, if you're anything like me, you have a very active type imagination. So that being said, I mean, you know, we, we all read books. Well, the majority of us do, I would think. If you don't, start reading books. Because people that don't read books... You gotta read. You gotta be read. But, um, here we go. People that read books can visualize better, I feel. Okay, and I gotta come in from the other side. So... Like, for instance, the point I'm getting at is I read the Harry Potter books. Okay? I read them all. And um, I liked them a lot. Um, I was excited when the Harry Potter movie came out. And then I was disappointed. I enjoyed it from the fact that it was a movie. And it, it got a lot of things right. Got a lot of things wrong. But you, you, you have to realize, of course, it is a movie, right? Anytime you make a movie out of a book, especially a long series, it's never going to meet your expectations. Uh, like the Dark Tower series. I've read that series and reread that series a dozen times over. Now... I have no illusions that it's going to meet up with my expectations. But, I do hope that I enjoy it as much as I, even half as much as I enjoyed the actual books themselves. Ooh, got a little sparks on that one. Now, and then, so that goes back to what I was saying. You, the, uh... The old radio shows, they pulled on that. They pulled on their words to inspire you to imagine how you think it would be. And there, there's never going to be any sci-fi show, TV show, movie, or anything out there that's going to compare to your imagination. Ever. You, 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 have, <clears throat> you have the greatest uh, imagination engine movie theater, whatever, built into your head that ever was. It's just a fact. The human mind, our brains, can come up with some crazy stuff. <laughs> but, that being said, um, how far away is this? Let's see. 
Ooh, that's a long ways away. But, luckily they're offering money, so we'll do it. Anyways, you have to deal with me for a little longer. Well, what do they got out here? Oh, they didn't have... Okay. So... Let's go ahead and launch. But those old-time radio shows draw on that. And... It makes it so much better. And even even books on tape. I mean, if you don't have time, books on tape are amazing. You can sit at work and listen to them if, if you're lucky enough to have such a job. I mean, you know, I mean, if you're a, I don't know, something that requires a, a ton of attention, you know, you're not like trying to operate on somebody and all of a sudden, oh no, and then you make a bad thing happen. But, um, uh, but, um, if you could do that, the, the, you know, it just fuels the imagination. It's, it's so many wonderful things going on. And it's, it's just really good. It's something I enjoy. And if it's not something you enjoy, then, you know, but I love a book. You know, I, I, I do like Kindles, I do like all that stuff, I love books on tapes, but a book, an actual book, the tactile feeling of a book, a book is something that no power outage will ever damage, you know, no, <laughs> no EMP will ever wipe it out, no magnet club passing close by will ever do it damage, it's a book. And although, yes, it can be damaged by the ravages of time, moisture, you know, still a lot to it. But, anyways, it's good stuff. And, uh, read. Get out there. If you can't, if you can't play video games, I'll read. I'll, that's what I'll do, you know. Or I will listen. I, you can ask my coworkers. I'll be laughing at work because I'm listening to something. Be like, "What is your problem, fool?" And I'm like, "Ah, uh, no, just uh, just listen." But sometimes I don't think that they believe that. I think that maybe they think I'm up to something. Which, I mean, I'm not saying that that that's not 100% not the case. Ooh, that's neat. I can't go to those yet. I wish I could. I don't think I can land. Did I not mark that? I got too excited. Because I think those are cities. No. There we go. So, alright. Let's head for this orbital hornby. Horn who names these things? Hornby Vision. It sounds like a an eye care place, huh? Welcome to Hornby Vision. Welcome to Hornby Vision. How may we help you? Well, I've got some uranium in the hold. I was wondering if you'd take a look at it. <laughs> Get it? Because they're a vision place. Take a look at it. Probably not that funny. That's that was probably not that funny. I thought it was. I thought it was fun. I thought it'd be funny. I'm sorry. Don't be mad. But um, I appreciate y'all coming out to hear me jabber jabber. I'm, I was hoping to actually, I, I'm pretty soon I'm going to start my other series, and it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to show you some interesting things, some things that maybe you might not have thought of. And uh, hopefully, we'll all learn something. I'll probably learn not to do interesting things on camera, because then it'll prove just how loony I actually am. So I gotta make sure certain people don't see those things. And I'm going too slow once again, or too fast once again. No, I will 
Church Smasher Station with my mighty tiny fist, and I pass it up. Woo! I can see my house from here. Okay, okay. Anyways, so we didn't do too bad. It's only 13, 12, 11, 10. I got the planet at my back and it's pulling. The gravitational fields. That would be interesting. Something they could add to this. Gravity fields. So like you could see the the gravity fields of different planets and stuff. I mean, I know they show the orbits. And that's really cool. But if they also showed uh, like the, the curves of the gravity. That would be really cool. Well, then I shall submit a docking request. Disembodied voice of a lady. We will say, hey, we request docking. Why would you communicate with them in a request to target them? That doesn't seem very... Oh, man, 06? Landing pad 06? I guarantee you that is going to be right up front. I'm gonna have to come in at like a turtle's pace. It's so much easier to come in faster. Mostly because you slingshot past these metal bars here and you don't you don't hit them. I've I've gotten wound up in these metal bars. And yeah, I didn't blow up, thankfully. But it did some pretty good damage and I felt like an idiot. Ooh, see, there we are. 06. See, I threw my landing gear down real fast. Just so that I could slow down faster. Which is really stupid when you think about it. Because I know what they're getting at. Like, the landing gear causes resistance. Like, you know when you're flying in a plane and you feel them pull, uh, drop down the landing gear and you feel the, the, the rush and the, the vibration of the plane? I see that that's what they're getting at with that, but you wouldn't have that in space. It's a nice touch, but it's not something that you would have in space. Oh man, I did that. that I should get a star for that. I deserve like a cookie or something, you know? I, 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 feel, I feel I need a cookie. Don't you think I need a cookie? I think, I mean, come on. That was a good landing. And she's supposed to give me some kind of reward, too. Thanks for the uranium, sucker. I thought I was supposed to get... Oh, that must have been something else. Well, let's take a look at the ships. I don't know what I used. But I, I guess. I don't know what that was. Let's see what ships they have. See, these are nice, but even in my ship right now, I could tear through that. Those two. That's my ship. That's the one I want. Mmm, see? I like that cargo capacity. The problem is, right now, with my current jump engine that I have in mine, uh, it, this is just marginally better. I think mine is, like... Because I, I put a much better engine in it. So... I don't know, man. I like that. So, that's really nice. And that. I don't know. We'll see what we're going to do. Let's see what we're going to do. Because we can do this. I, I may do it. I may do it. I don't know. I have to talk myself into it or out of it. I'm not sure. All right. But I'll make that decision, and then we'll do what we'll do. Okay? For now, I'm 12 Gauge Sage. Have fun out there, and uh, thanks for joining me. Hit that like button, and uh, if you haven't already, please do subscribe. Tell your friends. Tell your family how awesome this is. Or, hey, come take a look at this jerk. He He's pretty stupid. Either way, tell them about me. And uh, y'all have fun out there. Have a good day. Try not to die. Bye-bye.